is everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I'm doing great. Just wanted to come on and do a quick little video again with these um, craft fantastic um, little necklaces or whatever you want to call them. Like this is a necklace kit. This is so cool. I, I got these at the um, well, I got some at the expo. This was one. This was my last class that I took at the expo, and I loved it. And I felt like I got way, 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 way more than my money's worth uh, for the class. I mean, it was really cool. And this is to me a very cool concept. Um, like you can make like this right here is actually a necklace. It's a necklace kit. Oh, oh my gosh! I didn't see that. Look at that, y'all. Ooh, can y'all tell? It's like a rose gold color. Ooh, I love that. Look at that. Oh my God. Woohoo! I like that. Um, but anyway, so I, you know, did my haul video, and then the lady that um, I'm guessing she owns this uh, this company, or you know, is up there with the company. She um, actually contacted me and asked if uh, it would be okay to for me for her to use my video on her Facebook group, and I'm like, oh, please do. And then she said, I'm gonna send you a goodie bag, and I'm like, oh, you know, I, I'm like, you really don't have to do that, but thank you, I appreciate it. And I was only expecting like one little thing, y'all. She again, I, this company is freaking. Ooh, they're just awesome. She sent me this. She sent me a bracelet kit, um, which is so freaking cool. She sent me these oval things, which I love. She sent me these uh, faux leather bracelet kits. And then uh, some of the small glass ovals to go. Look at this, y'all. This. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Look, it's a ring. True, it's a, co you know, a, a, um, what do you call it? Costume jewelry or whatever. But still, y'all, I love it. Ooh-wee-wee. I do love that. Because, you know, you can always make these into other things. You know what I'm saying? So, what I thought I would do is show y'all. Now, she did not ask for me to do this. I want to make that perfectly clear. So... I just felt like I want to, you know, small companies, we got to work together. We got to help each other out, right? And so I just feel like this is a great company. I like their products because um, I made two necklaces at the, uh, the, what you call it, the expo, right? So I thought what I would do is go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do this bracelet even though I love the ring I do love the ring too though y'all and I also love the keychain but it's interchangeable do you know what I'm saying like if you want to put this on your keychain instead you could do that I love that okay so let me show you what all comes in this kit though let's just do the necklace kit so I'm gonna push everything aside now you will have to buy, these are called, um, she has it on the front, Super Sticky Dots, okay? So you do have to purchase those separately from the kit, and you have to purchase her glaze and glue separately as well. So, but in here, you get this beautiful, it's like an antique uh, gold, or an antique bronze, and you get, uh, you get the chain, and you also get a few jump rings I see here. They kind of got intertwined with the, the necklace because you'll need those, right? Let's see. That looks about all of them. But I love this color. It's beautiful. And then you get the rectangle necklace holder, and you get this with this. Oh, I still cannot get over that. So to do this one, since we don't have to put anything on it, really, you just take one of these sticker dots and you just put it in the middle of your thingy, right? 
just like that. And then let me get my pokey tool. And then you're gonna just take the the um, I'm actually gonna rub it in there just to make sure that it's gonna stick. I mean you do that with any double-sided tape. And then you just take the top off. And then we're just going to plop this right in there, like so. And that's how easy it is. I mean, this is a fun little, I mean, like, okay, let's say somebody comes over. And I'm taking this from the lady that was in the, from the show. But let's say a friend comes over and you kind of sort of forgot her birthday. And you're like, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. And you can just go in your craft room and, like, make something up in, like, five minutes. <laughs> and be like, here, I love you. <laughs> okay. So that's done already. Boop. Finished. And these are the clasp. Isn't that clasp beautiful? I love it. I love it. Actually, it looks like from the picture, this is supposed to end up somehow or another going onto here. It looks like, doesn't it? And then this is the uh, the clasp that goes inside it. And then you probably have this. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll put these O-rings over there. All right, and now, just now we get to choose. There's these things. And says, life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, but learning to dance in the rain. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I really like that one. That's pretty. But I'm going to, I think I'm going to do the sunflower. Kind of in the mood for the sunflower. So what you do is you cut out, oh, and look, there's instructions in case you get lost on what you need to do, but we just cut out this. And I'm making it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then what you do is this goes on top of it like so this little piece of glass. So you kind of got to figure out where do I really want it on the glass, on the thing. So I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay, um, so what you do is I made sure that my glass is clean and you put your glue on just in puddles like so. And then you take like a Q-tip and you kind of spread it all the way around. You want to get the glass good and covered with the glaze and glue, right? Alright, kind of like that. And then you take it and you put it, the glue, you flip it over and you put it where you want it on your picture. And this is why we do it on a scrap piece of paper because it should ooze out a little. Just a little. You have a few seconds to kind of, to let it, um, let it set up. Okay. And then you use another, you know, the other end of the cotton swab or a new one or whatever to kind of clean up. But we really should let this sit for just a few more seconds. So we'll let, I'm going to let that sit. And kind of just clean the sides up a little bit. And it will come off the glass, she said. You get it on the glass. Mm -hmm. All right, 
So now I'm going to let that sit for a while. And uh, But while you're letting that dry, you can be working on, you know, other things. Like this cool thing. This bracelet is so cool. I almost bought one. Isn't that cool? I like it. It's rubber banding. But see, in my head, too, if you don't want to use it as jewelry, you can always cut it apart. And this would be beautiful to me. Um, embellishments for your scrapbooks or even cards, you know, like, I don't know, I'm into doing different things for the cards. And I think what I want to do, hmm, um, let's see, do I want, I think I want to do a try it on this one. Here, let's set this aside. I, know, I wanted this to be a short little video, but now I'm having too much fun. Now, you can use any kind of paper, pictures, whatever, to go on there. But what I think I want to do is let me find my Sharpie markers. I think I want to use my Sharpies because I have more vibrant colors in that. But if you've ever done like um, a tile, I have a video on that where I just used Sharpie markers on a tile and then used alcohol to kind of make it spread out. You can do the same thing on this glass. So let's see. I think I'm going to use purple and I think I'm going to use, I don't know. So, like, you just color it. With your markers. Great. Okay, so I have some alcohol here. And I'm just going to... Right. Okay, now that I got these done, I think they're dry, I'm going to put a little bit of stickles on it so that they will sh be shiny. Alright, I'm going to let those dry. Okay, let's see. Now, I think this is dry. So then all you need to do is have a pair of scissors and you just cut out the, um, the paper. You just trim it up. It's this easy. I love it though. And voila, look how pretty y'all, 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 look, look. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Now, um, it does, this glue dries permanently, of course, but before it dries, I think it takes 24 hours to completely cure. So, um, what you want to do though, in case you get any of that glaze on your scissors, is go ahead and use a baby wipe, because it's water soluble until then. So you can just use that. And you can use it, you know, if you've got it on the glass. You can just do like so. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to Now, another thing, oh, and now we want to just use the, if my dogs begin to bark, I apologize. This kids just got home from school in the neighborhood, and um, they usually, well, these are the older kids. They usually don't bark at them. <laughs> they usually, they usually bark at the, the littler ones, because they're so happy to be home. I don't blame them. All right, 
so what she suggested was to like especially on a bigger piece like this is of course put one in the middle and then try to put some on the corners uh, just so that it will you know stay in there so I'm just gonna cut a couple in half so that you kind of have it up here you know now again we just are gonna place this in here like so push it down oh my gosh Y'all, my heart is pitter-pattering, and I'm not kidding. I love that. Oh, my gosh. This will be so pretty. And then what's so cool is, let's say, you want to use it for your keychain instead while this is silver. But I think what we got in the kit, um, in the expo, was actually a key. There was a keychain in there, and I think it's this antique brass or whatever this is supposed to be. Oh my God, y'all. I love it. Love it. I have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fall necklace. Oh my goodness. I love it. What do y'all think? Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Y'all, I love this. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so excited. Ooh, I love it. So there's that necklace. See? And then, look, I have, look. I bought a kit of these, square pendant kit, um, because it came with a lot of the glue and all that kind of stuff. It's like a first thing. But you could even, you know, if you want to change out these, you know, then you can just add that. So it's very interchangeable. I like that. I like that a lot. So, yay. I love it. Y'all, I love it. I love it. Ooh. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna put that to the side. Now let's go over here. Let's see if the stickles is dry. Doesn't have to be completely dry. Um, I think it's dry enough though. Because what we want to do now is we're gonna pretty much. That's not dry yet. All right, I gotta let these dry. All right, let me let them dry. Um, because then what we're going to do, and I'll probably do it off camera once I get dry, but I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my glue, put it on here, and then I'm going to put it on um, just this piece of scrap paper, you know. But we need a piece of white paper because if we try to put it with the black, I mean, it works, but it's kind of muted. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like that. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know, y'all. What do you think? <gasps> I kind of like the darker colors. I mean, they don't pop as well as, like, if we're on the white. You see how they're like that on the white? But I kind of like that. Y'all, I don't know. <sighs> I could have put it on white paper, but now I don't know. Now I might just put them in here. I mean, it's dark. But it's groovy. I mean, it just depends on what you're... I guess what your end result you want it to be. I'm going to use paper. I'm going to use the white paper. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry because some of them are not dry yet. And then, um, then I'll be back. Okay, so I've used the glue and put it on the back like I did before. And I've just added it to this piece of paper like this. I figured it would be okay to do it this way. Because after it dries is when you trim it out so so now I just have to let this dry and then I'll be back but isn't that cool I think that's looking really really neato neato bandito okay so I cut them out and got them on I love it I don't know if y'all can see the little the glitter that was probably my favorite <laughs> but isn't that so cool I love it love it love it love it be nice to go on a, if I ever could go on a um, Caribbean vacation, you know? It'd be perfect. Holy! I love it. So cool. And then, um, I did do one so I can make a ring. So I used the little, I bought, they have, 
And I'm sure you can get them online, and their link will be down, linked down below in case you're interested in going and looking at this stuff. Um, but they have these art images, is what they call it, that you can buy. But again, whatever, like even just pieces of your paper, you know, that you scrapbook or make cards with or whatever, well, uh, you can also use it, you know, so you don't have to use their images. I mean, you can even print out um, pictures of, you know, pictures to use. The trick is you want to make sure that you're right up on this edge. So that's about the only little tricky part to it, really. Alright, so I'll cut that out. Isn't that cute? I think I'm only going to use one um, jewelry thing. But I, because this one is smaller, I don't think I'm going to need to. Let's squish that down a little bit more. Go. Right. So we'll just put him, pop him right in there and cute little Halloween. Go with my little necklace that I made. Isn't it cute? I've already got, let's see, I'll probably wear that on this thing. Hello, darling. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I know you're supposed to probably wear it that way so other people can see it, but I like wearing mine this way so that I can see the image. <laughs> Is that rude? Probably. I don't know. I have short little fingers, so... But I love it. I think it's so cute. You know, just to wear it for a day. Out and about. I think it's adorable. So cute. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Let's see if I can't... I hope y'all can see the little... There, maybe y'all can see the glitter from the, the uh, stickles. Isn't that so just groovy? I just love it. And then here's this one up close. I don't know if I did an up close with it. But isn't it? I just love this one. I just love it. Isn't it beautiful? And I think the kit that I got at the expo has a bracelet in it like this, but it's not square. It's round, and I think it's this color. And I think what I want to do is make a bracelet to go along with this um, for fall. Because I believe I did get um, a fallish uh, art images. So I'll have to look and see though. I don't remember quite what I've got. But yeah. So I just wanted to come on and show you these cool little... I just love them. I love them. It's a fun little quick um, craft that you can do and like I said you can use them for embellishments I feel on your different projects you don't have to wear them as jewelry if you do not want to so isn't it cute so again the link to this uh, to this um, fan craft fantastic is the name of it I'll have it down in the description below if you're interested in going and checking them out and uh, seeing all what they're for so well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it inspired you to uh, just want to craft and do a little something something. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. But don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.